the tra traditional idea of collective unconscious mm. is, is very different now. Uh, our collective unconscious is made up of pop culture items, and it's shared, uh, uh, they are shared by you know, people on the, uh, uh, both sides of the ocean, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting how you can become nostalgic mm. for a world that you never experienced. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Westerners can become nostalgic for old Japan, sure. and and Japanese can become nostalgic for the world of the uh, of the of the cowboy western of the seibugeki or something like that. Yeah, I, I kind of feel when I read Ben's work books, I feel a bit nostalgic. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> no, you do oh. too. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. It's like. I do. I like sort of Irish music. When I listen to Irish music, I feel quite nostalgic. Mm. <laughs> but you know, I've been to Ireland when I'm already grown up. I've never been there when I was a child. But something about it's something universal, I guess. Certain things makes you feel uh, more even emotional or whatever. And I think I don't know. Ben's book is like. Um, uh, she's, I mean, talking about the ob objects, his imagination she seems to be inspired by lots of strange objects in the city or buildings or whatever. And that's something in common. Like, there's in the, the, as he was talking about in the Ben uh, um, and the Knipo uh, stories, about this weight in the newspaper stand mm -hmm. in the different shapes. And it's a sort of newspaper company's name or stuff, whatever. I've never seen it, but when I read it, I think, felt I knew it mm. somehow. Yeah. Mm. yeah, some people thought I made that all up, but there, there was an industry of uh, cast iron newspaper weights for newsstands to mm. prevent papers from blowing away. <coughs> so that's mm. a true... Uh, mm. Mm. You didn't make Artifact. it up. No, I didn't. I made up more of an industry than I thought there was, but it turns out there was such an industry. Oh. So. But I did, a, I did a book called The Toy Cigarette about those little mm. uh, toy cigarettes that were filled with talcum powder mm -hmm. that you could blow on and make a... a about a, a Japanese toy uh, factory, a very small cottage industry mm -hmm. making those. Oh. And... Um, and in bringing them to New York, but it's never been published. It's, uh, mm. but I did a, that's um, a strange story. I, uh, re I try to imagine uh, the Tokyo of the period of that in the 50s. Mm.